Welcome back to MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 4.5, we see how to enter resource pay rates. So first, we see how to enter pay rates for people resources, then for equipment resources, and lastly for material resources. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 4.4 available on group.net. Coming back to the project plan, we see that we had entered the resource names for all the people resources, then for the equipment resources, then for the material resources and lastly for the cost resources. Now we will enter their rates. Let us first see the maximum units column. By default, the value is set as 100%. For any resource which works full day and has full day availability, the value for maximum assignment units is 100%. If a resource works only for half day, then this becomes 50%. Coming to the next column of standard rate, here we can set the standard rates for the different resources. These can be set on per hour, per day, per week and so on basis. Building contractors are not typically paid on a per hour basis but for the sake of understanding in our project, let us give them an hourly rate. To enter the rate, you can simply type in the number and press enter. And so on. We can also give overtime rates, that is if they work beyond their set time of 100 units. To enter the same similar values for equipments, we can set per hourly rates for equipments also by simply entering the value and press enter. For equipments we sometimes also need to give cost per use that is the wear and tear charges. For example an equipment can have a standard rate which is the rate for using that equipment for every hour but cost per use means the certain amount of charges that you give because of using that equipment. For materials we can directly enter the cost. After cost per use we see that there is a column which says accrue at. If we click this and right click the arrow, we see that there are three options available. Start, prorated and end. Start means that payment is done at the beginning of the task. Prorated means it is calculated uh, regarding how much work is done. That is probably on a daily basis. And end means payment is done at the end of the task. So, to summarize, we have seen how to enter pay rates for people resources, for equipment resources and for material resources. A sample of the project plan with complete pay rates entered is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this video tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to adjust working time for individual resources.